What's up guys, Ruben here, and today I'm going to take a look at the new YouTube app. The YouTube app for Android has just been updated. Um, it's now Android, uh, not Android, sorry, YouTube version 4, I think it is, or something like that. Um, basically, it was updated on day 1 of Google I.O. conference, and uh, it includes some pretty cool features. So, uh, nothing's changed with the icon. We'll jump in straight away here. And you'll notice, this is what you get uh, when you first start off. And you notice it's different straight away. You now get these like tiles um, of your videos. These are, as you can see, this is a channel feed at the minute. Uh, so these are all the people I've been subscribed to, um, or people who I want to see have uh, see uploaded a video. Um, we have fa people favoriting video, adding videos to playlist, um, whatever I want. So that's your channel feed now. You'll notice there's no bar across the top like before. Um, the bar I think previously was like my channel browse and channel feed or something like that. Uh, to get that now, you have there's two ways you can click on YouTube up here and it brings up this side panel. Or indeed you can just simply swipe to the right and it brings it up. Now I'm going to get this out of the way first. I don't like the new update because it doesn't allow you to browse videos. You know how before we had the browse and you click on browse and you could choose categories, music, etc. You can't do that now. They've got rid, of, got rid of that for some reason which I'm not liking very much. Um, but anyway, I'll carry on with this review. You swipe and you can see you can have two channels. This is my channel here. You can hop into channel. I think it's changed now because you can view total video views. Uh, whereas before you couldn't. It was channel views or something like that. Uh, you can upload. Uh, as you can see, you can upload from uh, from apps. Uh, I think you can also upload directly from the camera, but obviously this device I've took away the camera APK. Uh, and then you can have your favourites, your uploads, etc. Uh, so we'll just go back again. You have all your channels that you're subscribed to now. Basically the whole hub for this YouTube app is you have to swipe to get down to this left hand side and that's everything you're going to get. So these are all the channels I'm subscribed to. And, uh, and you can just tap on one and it'll bring you to their channel. Uh, as you can see we have this tiled thing again and um, these are all Android Central's videos that they've uploaded. You can click up here and you can choose activity and then you can see what they've been liking or subscribing to etc. Uh, so we'll just go back here, we'll just go straight up and we'll go back to the channel feed. Uh, so we'll just, choose, we'll just choose a video and we'll just click on it. Um, so as you can see straight away things have changed from, uh, from before. Uh, okay so we still have the share icon up here as well as the search so you can still search for videos and choose your time frame like this week or this month for searching videos. Uh, down here we have a couple of changes. We now have the, uh, the person whose video is uploaded and if you're subscribed to them as well as their icon or their avatar. Uh, you have a Google plus one so you can plus one the video just by simply tapping it. Uh, you have the dislike and like bar as you can see no, no, uh, no dislikes and you have the you can like it obviously as before, but they've just slightly revamped the whole the whole layout uh, down there. Uh, I don't think you can you can no longer see tags for some reason. Don't know. I suppose it was it wasn't worthwhile anyway. But yeah, uh, you can slide across as usual to rated and to get your comments, uh, and then you can view comments and things like that. Nothing's really changed there. Um, you've also noticed that you can now skip and um, skip the video um, across the portrait view. Uh, before you had to be in landscape view to do that, but you can now skip the video um, in portrait. Also, another thing I don't know, if, I haven't figured out if this is a good or bad thing yet. You can't pause the video by tapping anywhere. Uh, we're just going to landscape here and show you that. So, you see, it's playing. You can't pause the video, you have to pause it in the middle. So, you see, you have to actually tap the pause icon and the play icon to, uh, to play it, which is, I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, <laughs> you decide. Um, also, to uh, to add it to your favourites or whatever, to add a video to your favourites, you now have to go into your menu tab or whatever, and uh, and you have to click to add to, and then it'll bring your favourites and your playlists up. Uh, you can add to YouTube TV. Don't know what that's about. Copy the URL, and uh, there's your settings. So that's basically it on that on that front. Um, so yeah, as you see, we have tiles. It's I don't know if I'm liking the tiles. I suppose you get used to them. Uh, it's a lot different from the previous YouTube app. Um, so we're just going to settings here and we'll see what we have at settings. We have general, you can have high quality of mobile, caption, font size, etc. You can choose searching preferences. 
but the new thing with this update is preloading. You can enable preload to fetch videos in an advanced way on Wi-Fi and charging, so you can enjoy watching them later on slow networks. And then you can choose to preload subscriptions or watch later. Now I've tried this, and uh, it says there it charge you, and if your Wi-Fi plan is not unlimited, don't do it. But I've noticed no difference, you know, on my phone I've enabled it and then I've gone into my mobile network and they still haven't loaded, you know, as fast as with my Wi-Fi, so I don't know, maybe they need to refine that a bit better. Um, so yeah, that's basically it guys, that's been my quick look at the new YouTube uh, version 4 update. Um, it's a pretty nice update, not like in the whole browser thing, you can't browse videos, um, you know, by genre, like I said before. Uh, but oh well, that's just one thing. What can I do? <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, ask me below. And uh, in the comment section or Twitter links and Google Plus links are in the bottom as well. Thanks for watching, guys.